Hey, how you doing? Austin here. In this video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and we're going to be talking about the major event that is happening today for Bitcoin. And if you're not aware of this, hopefully you will be, you will, well, you will know more after this video because I'm going to tell you what's going on and I'm going to tell you the importance of it. And, uh, and this is continuing coverage for Bitcoin and just kind of the overall state of the union for uh, Bitcoin. And hopefully you'll enjoy the video. If you're new to me, my name is Austin Hilton. I'm a 30 plus year stock investor and cryptocurrency guy and uh, been here on YouTube for a while now. So hopefully uh, you might, you'll might you choose to subscribe and like this video if you would. I'd greatly appreciate it. As always, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's go check out what this big, huge event for Bitcoin and overall look at the market and see what's going on with it. Here we go. As always, I have my Patreon group over and, and, and there's links below if you want to go check this out. I have a two-level supporter Inner Circle. You get access at Inner Circle to my portfolio, what I hold, what I'm buying, what I'm selling. You get early access and notification of when I do buy or do sell as well as I let you know about hot new cryptos that I see that are emerging in the market. So these are kind of the inside track knowledge and both levels have the Discord group. So if that's something that you think might be good for you uh, to become part of a community and not be in this cryptocurrency journey alone, check it out. Links are below in the description. Okay, so Bitcoin is rising. Bitcoin's going up. It looks pretty good. We are bouncing back from those lows. You know, we touched 28,000. Uh, I'm av absolutely an avid fan of Bitcoin. Obviously, I own it, continue to add to my levels. And, you know, we've got, we're up 7% right now. And I firmly believe that it's related to two kind of key events. Number one, I believe that some of the bearish pressure is easing off. The bulls are starting to maybe take a little bit of control and kind of easing off of this last four plus weeks of majority red days, if not flat days. Okay. Uh, and if you're new to me, I do talk about this all the time, you know, where Bitcoin goes, uh, when it's up, everything else tends to be up. And when it's down, everything else tends to be down as well, right? Bitcoin and Ethereum really do drive the overall market. Okay. So let's talk about this major, major event. If you're not aware of it, it's an event called the B word. Okay. And uh, it's basically, I love this right here, how institutions can embrace Bitcoin. So institutions being, you know, hedge funds, institutional money, things like that. Okay. Which is a big, huge deal. The more institutional um, leverage and interest and buy-in that we can get from them, the more mainstream Bitcoin becomes, the better Bitcoin becomes adopted and starts to be bought more and more and more, thus raising the price of Bitcoin. And if you have other cryptocurrencies outside of Bitcoin, which I'm assuming you do, I do, right? It raises the price of everything else as well. So if we can get Bitcoin to continue to go on a rally and get a really nice bull run and, you know, 40,000, 50 back to its highs, 60 and going past that and go to, you know, 100,000 plus, et cetera, which everybody's talking about, right? The 100,000 plus mark, then everything else benefits from that. That's why I cover Bitcoin, starting to really initiate Bitcoin on my coverage because I've been talking about Bitcoin forever in my other videos and it was time for me to talk and start bringing you Bitcoin update videos and things like that. Okay, so this back to this event. The B word is happening today. Okay, it's happening July 21st today, 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific California time, 12 o'clock uh, East Coast New York time. Okay, so it is a, what is it, Austin? It's the B word is a Bitcoin fo focused initiative that aims to demystify, destigmatize mainstream narratives about Bitcoin, explain how institutions can embrace it and raise awareness around areas of the network that need support. Okay, so who is featured speakers? Well, we have Elon, okay, and which is a good thing, right? In all that he's, in the pros and the cons that he's done for crypto, it's good that he's involved. It's good that he's involved because the if the more we can get him back involved in a positive Bitcoin narrative, it raises the overall crypto market. I know I've said this a couple of times, but it is truly true. Okay. We've also got Kathy Wood, the founder, CEO, CIO of ARK Invest. If you're not familiar with her, she's absolutely one of the smartest people in the proverbial room. And in the finance world, when she speaks, people listen, including the media, including the global media. Okay, so when Kathy Wood being involved in this is a huge, massive, big deal. And same thing for Elon. I mean, Elon, when he, you know, whether you love him or hate him, okay, he is a polarizing individual. I agree. But but he's also 
newsworthy. When he talks, when he tweets, when he's at an event and specifically talking about cryptocurrency, it is global media coverage, which is what we want. We need, want, continue to continue to get global, just mainstream media coverage, TV, internet, radio, uh, you know, uh, there's another one I'm probably leaving off, um, uh, magazines, etc. you know, those kind of things, online magazines, etc. We want, need global media coverage, and they all cover Elon when he says, does, talk about, attend an event, or tweet about cryptocurrency. The fact that he's involved is a big deal. It's a positive deal because it, it will push the fur it will push a positive narrative, a positive discussion and positive developments around Bitcoin. All right, continuing. Jack Dorsey, CEO of Square. Jack has really become the spokesperson, if you will, the champion, the media figure that is has evolved of Bitcoin. So he has, he has, he has picked up the mantle to become the champion of Bitcoin. And he's a good one to have doing that because he is a very smart individual, very you know accomplished business person, things of that nature. And so the fact that he's involved is a really, really positive catalyst. And he's actually the one who got Elon to come on board, okay? And so again, this is the event that's happening today. We've got some other speakers as well. You can attend and you can register this. It's gonna have a, an online component so you'll be able to see it. Uh, I think this is a major, major, major big deal. Personally, frankly, I think that this is one of the major uh, catalysts that's actually pushing the overall market up today. I think that this is a, a positive catalyst, a catalyst. I think that this is the match that very well could light a bull run run. <laughs> The metaphor didn't quite right, quite work out, but you get my. It could light the fire. It could light the bull run fire. You get my point. And the metaphors are not working quite yet, but I think that this is something that's extremely positive, and we'll see as it develops. I will continue to obviously bring you um, the information related to what was said at the event, as well as the continued developments after the event, the global media coverage, because then all of that's going to shape up very nicely to continue to help propel Bitcoin. Uh, further past, you know, 32, 35 and into the 40,000 range, uh, you know, continuing to help again, begin a bull run. If we can get Bitcoin moving up three, four, five, six, seven percent a day, everything else will follow. And if you own other cryptos, I've said this already, if you own other cryptos, you absolutely need, and if, if you don't own Bitcoin, you need to know and be aware of Bitcoin and everything that's around that so that you so that you can see how it impacts all the other cryptos and I'm going to and the coverage I'm going to be bringing you around bitcoin is going to have a lot of dialogues and you know related to that because again I it if you don't believe me right look at these these charts the last 7 day right here on the right hand side see how bitcoin is bottomed went up ethereum bottom went up binance cardano xrp dogecoin Polka dot. I mean, it just goes on and on. Uniswap, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Solana. I mean, everything looks exactly the same, and it comes back to Bitcoin. It comes back to where Bitcoin goes. Everywhere else goes as well. When it's down, everybody's down. When it's up, everybody's up. So this event is going to continue to push. I could can continue to push us up. Bring mo uh, massive uh, media attention to Bitcoin and to the overall crypto market. You know, with Elon involved and the fact if we can get him in, in a positive narrative and positive developments, specifically related to Bitcoin, which, it, you know, that seems to be kind of gradually developing. It's a good thing. Okay. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for your support and I'll see you later. Take it easy.